Hello, my name is Hien Wong. I work for the City of Azusa Light and Water Department. I manage the electric divisions for the City of Azusa. So I'm happy to share with you my uh, ETAP uh, scanner system that we just recently completed the implementation. Uh, and hopefully I can uh, Yeah, some 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 idea or or maybe uh, you probably have the more sophisticated uh, system than than we have, but uh, hopefully, hopefully I don't I'm not boring you during the process. So bear with me. Let me introduce um, the uh, let's briefly talk about the city of Azusa Light and Water Department. Um, we are a small utility company um, that uh, resides roughly around 27 miles northeast of the city of Los Angeles, roughly about 11 miles east of the city of, of uh, Pasadena, if you know the area. Um, we serve the uh, community of, um, uh, you know, roughly has uh, of us 9.2 square mile, and we, we serve about 17,000 customers, you know, we have a combination of commercial, industrial, and residential customer. Uh, one of our biggest customer in the city is uh, the, the Azusa Pacific University APU, and, um, and we we have some you know industrial, small to medium industrial customer uh, in the city. So so the city has both light and water department uh, utilities. Um, the water utility is like a different entity. They, they have their own um, operation. They, they, they have their own uh, unique uh, SCADA system. But uh, for, for, the, for us, the, this SCADA system is just for the electric division. Just want to keep that, uh, uh, make that clear. It's not a combination of water and, and, and power, just mm -hmm. for the electric division. Um, so um, the electric division served just uh, within the uh, 9.2 square mile of the city limit and uh, the water division served the customer, additional customer outside the city limit. Um, so the, the electric division that I, I uh, you know, manage, uh, we maintain and operate uh, two 12 kV distribution substations. Um, in combination, in combined, we have 20 feeders uh, to uh, serve the entire uh, customer, electric customers. Um, we have roughly 66 miles of uh, overhead uh, and uh, 59, 59 miles of underground feeders. Um, that uh, We have a radio system, it's not a, a rain star system, so um, it's a little bit different uh, than other utility. Uh, our peak flow is 60 megawatts. So as you can see, it's not a, a large size utility. Um, but uh, I can probably say that we are very efficient, even though we have a limited resource, but uh, we, we operate in an efficient way. And uh, and the scale system out, actually help us uh, do that to accomplish that because uh, it, it is not in uh, automate fully automated uh, skater system we, we we just use the skater to for uh, the monitor the load at the substation and and um, any uh, and monitor the and control some of the circuit breaker at the at the two sub substation that we have. So um, last year, around June um, 2021, we uh, entered an agreement with ETAP and, uh, you know, we agreed to have ETAP out to be our uh, skater vendor to replace what we had. Um, I'm, I'm not going to reveal the name of the, what we had before, but uh, I think ETAP offer us a better solution. It can provide to us a, a turnkey solution. So um, that's a good, because as mentioned, we don't have 
excuse me, we don't have a lot of resources, so we need as um, much help as we can. And and I think we've accomplished that. ETAP team has uh, put together a good package and and you know help us implement this uh, scale scale with uh, you know working hand in hand with our engineer and with our staff to make sure that uh, we got what we want and uh, we just complete the implementation uh, April this year. Due to some uh, unforeseen uh, delay, <clears throat> we're part of the city. So when when the city is impacted by the IT division has done some major upgrade, we also impacted by that process and 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 in a way kind of delay our project a little bit. But uh, nevertheless, we are here and we have completed the the implementation of the SCADA system. So as I mentioned, we 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 mainly use the SCADA system it's just for to to for the operation and for for load management. We allow our fuel crew to operate the uh, the SCADA system. Uh, certain certain uh, personnel have access to the SCADA system uh, to to do uh, you know lockout, tagout, things in that nature. Operating the circuit breaker. Majority of the work is uh, operating the circuit breaker. Um, one of the substations we can operate remotely, but the other one we have to actually be at the site. But uh, we work in toward that uh, to make the two the same in operational way. <clears throat> so, um, Because of security reason, I, I, I would like to share with you some screenshot of the, of the SCADA system that we just uh, recently complete. But because of the security reason, I, I'm, I'm unable to, I'm not allowed to, to share with you all the detail. I have to remove some of the name tag and, of the feeder and, and, and whatnot. I uh, hope you, uh, hope you for, don't mind that. So one of the first screen I'm sharing with you is, uh, this is a single substation one line diagram. And we have 16 feeder in, the, uh, in this substation. And yeah, as you can tell, we can see the uh, ETAP team put you know, customized screen for us. So we can um, look at the load, we can um, you know, operate a breaker. I, I think uh, this substation is a little bit older than the the one the second one that I'm, I'm going to dis, um, discuss with you. Um, we, we, there's not a lot of bell and whistle in this substation compared to the next one, but we we are able to open and close the circuit breaker and and uh, operate from uh, actually at the uh, at the substation uh, itself. Um, the second substation we have um, has basically have four basically have four feeders, and each feeder we can actually has a little bit more feature than the other one. We have we can operate uh, remotely. Um, the recloser they put in solid and, and, and you know auto you know, can cut in the ground, cut out the ground. So that's um, extra feature that we have at this, this substation. This substation was built. Uh, a little bit later than the other one. Um, this is one of my favorite screen. Actually, uh, we have uh, ETAP engineer customize the screen. Uh, you know the the screen for us, and at the, on this screen you can see we can monitor uh, like a, a summary of of our load. Right, we can see each feeder load uh, by current and by by megawatts. We see the status of the uh, the circuit breaker. As mentioned, I removed uh, a feeder name for security reasons. So, staff or personnel that uh, that uh, you know assigned to do uh, operation um, have access to the screen as well. So. But majority of people that um, in the manager and all the management group or engineering, um, we use this um, 
to uh, to monitor. You know, sometimes I, I I just turn on the screen to monitor during the day to see, especially during the summer month, we 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 have to closely monitor the our load. Some circuit will have a heavier, you know, more load than the, uh, than the other, but that's uh, uh, something that physically we have to. Uh, if we want to change, we have to physically uh, reconfigure our circuit in the field. But for now, we we, we go with uh, with the, the arrangement. Report viewer, as you know, we you know we have to go in the, the historical uh, data to to gather information in the event that we have any outage or something like that. We will, uh, you know, pull, pull a report, you know, you can, there's some template that you can create to, to create a report uh, the way you want it and, and, and you know, kind of compile the, the, the data that you're looking for. Uh, this is typical data for, for utility, right? You're looking for phase, you know, current plan for phase, current per phase, voltage per phase, frequency, power factor, things of that nature. Another view that uh, you can go in, you can monitor um, what have, have, have transpired with an event, you know, and look at who actually uh, doing what and you can see some of the name here and who, who has logged into the, the system. So this uh, only a certain staff member or personnel will have access to this screen. And uh, alarm manager is a, a feature that we, we use a lot because every time we have an alarm, we have an event like circuit breaker trip or something like that. We'll go back here and we'll look at the, what have happened. And, and you can see very self-explanatory. You can see the uh, each column, the messages that it, uh, they show. Um, so we'll have to get, get familiarized with, with this uh, new new software because as, as mentioned, we just completed this not too long ago and, and we have yet, we'll be uh, getting some training soon. And hopefully um, after the training, we'll have more, we can we can get to us into, in, into, you know, to a different layer of the of the of the software. Um, one thing uh, we we because we we are small, we don't have everything automated, so we rely on the uh, alarm notification to so that we can respond to any uh, disturbance uh, as fast as we can, as quick as we can, right? So. One of the uh, method is by receiving email. Um, so this is a screenshot of an email that we receive from the alarm system. It, it tells us what what happened, what so which circuit breaker the trip, and and then we can uh, actually acknowledge the alarm from here. Another way to uh, to receive uh, receiving a notification is by uh, text messages. On, uh, on the uh, mobile phone. Staff member are, are all assigned with the company phone. So assigned personnel that have access to the scale system and who, especially the standby person, uh, an engineer, we receive these messages, uh, this type of messages, and it tells us uh, what, uh, which circuit is trip and what time and whatnot. And, and once the field personnel receive the message, they they will start uh, patrolling or or try and invest do the investigation. Right, it will cause the circuit to trip. Maybe somebody hit the pole, uh, uh, palm front laying on uh, you know laying on the line, and sometimes cable failure. So that's all the different causes of uh, the alarm of the, uh, the trip. So this helps, uh, and because this information is very helpful because it is uh, it's available at the at our fingertip. Everybody carries a phone nowadays in their pocket. So I say, if I'm not in my office, I'm not in, I'm not home. I'm on the on the road. I can I receive this message and, and start to um, start start to uh, do some work, right? I mean, trying to to restore power as soon as we can. That's one of the 
this is one of the, my favorite features because uh, um, I don't have to be in the office or at home uh, in front of my computer too. And I know that what have happened, you know. We also receive other, you know, notification by the local police or by customers, you know, stuff like that. But this is very helpful. So with that, uh, that that concludes my presentation for the Azusa uh, Skater System. I hope uh, I did okay. <laughs> um, so please feel free to post any question. Thank you for your the time.